Yesterday I picked up this PlayStation 3 at a thrift store for about $20. And at the store I was able to plug it in and make sure it powered on, but couldn't do full extensive testing. Since then, I have hooked it up at home and done some gameplay on it. I put a disc in there, was able to play that. And then afterwards, I watched the Modded Warfare and the Mr. Mario videos on how to go ahead and jailbreak this unit, which I have done. To do that, I used this Samsung USB drive along with a network connection and followed that video. And I highly suggest if you wanna go ahead and jailbreak your unit to follow their videos. Now, during that video, I did find that the uh, links in there were not working, which I ended up using the Google Cache links and those worked for me. After jailbreaking this unit, then I went ahead and installed the game using the Multiman and played that as well as put a, a second ROM on there, which was the Minecraft and played that for a couple hours too, just to make sure that this unit was stable and running. Now this drive is an 80 gigabyte unit, which I would run out of space really quickly if I were to install some different games on it, such as Metal Gear Solid 5 and Metal Gear Solid 4 on this, which by themselves would take almost 60 gigabytes. Um, and with the operating system and everything else on there, there's just not enough room to even install those two games, let alone all of the other PS3 exclusive games that I want to install and play on here. So what I did is I went ahead and looked on Amazon last night and found a hard drive and next day shipping, it arrived today. Now this hard drive, I think I paid about $60 for it, um, which was a, a good deal. I, I compared the price and uh, the history showed that this was the, the best price on this uh, hard drive. Uh, the hard drive here, I'll leave a link in the description for it. Um, it uh, this is an SSD drive, which on here was a spinning disc. I think they said it was 5200, which is a much slower drive. So the other reason I wanted to switch to SSD is that this drive will be much faster loading games. When I was loading even the Minecraft game, it took actually several minutes to load the game up. So using this SSD, I hope to be a lot faster and I can compare those numbers. So here's the SSD drive. And now this drive actually goes in the bottom here, right here. So we'll go ahead and open that up. I'll go ahead and open this up. And then this drive should slide in where the other one was. So let's go ahead and uh, remove the screw and get started on that. One thing I did notice on this PS3 is that the little hood ornament here is missing, the little spinner. Uh, it's nothing I can do about it, it's gone. Uh, it doesn't really bother me that it's gone, but it is kind of funny that that was missing. <laughs> it doesn't seem like all the hood ornaments get taken. Anyhow. Real quick, before I replace the hard drive, I wanted to clean the console. Probably the best way to clean this would be to completely tear it down and repaste the heatsink. However, I am not ready to tackle that. An inspection of the vents shows that this console really isn't that dirty. I think if I take an air compressor and blow out the front of the console, as well as the back of the console, that will be good enough. Let me know your thoughts. Should I take this completely apart and clean it and repaste it? First I will remove the old hard drive though. It's just the one screw holding it in place. and then pull on the metal tab and remove it. Now I will start cleaning. That was a lot more dust than what I expected. I'll dust the hard drive compartment. And now the back of the console. The back of the console has all of the connectors, which I can clean, and also the exhaust ventilation for the heat to escape the unit. That should do it for cleaning the vents on the unit. Now that I've cleaned up my PlayStation 3, it's time to do the hard drive install. So I have the solid state disc here, and then I already have the original disc removed here, and I just gotta remove these screws. The screwdriver is not going to be big enough. And I will 
go ahead and slide that in. Place the screw back on here. When doing hard drive swap on the PlayStation 3, the operating system is actually located on the hard drive. So what I'll have to do is reinstall the PS3 operating system on this. Fortunately, yesterday I had done a jailbreak, so I already know that I have the operating system on this USB drive. If you want to know how to get that, go ahead and watch the jailbreak videos from either Modded Warfare or Mr. Mario, and they can show you where to download this file and put it onto your um, USB drive. If you don't have a jailbroken PS3, then you can just download the firmware straight from PlayStation's website. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in to the first side here. And then let's go ahead and add power. And plug in my HDMI. Now that everything's plugged in, I will flip the switch here to add power. And in a moment, I do have the red light displaying here, so then I can power up. So let's take the controller and press the home button. Fan is kicking in, and let's watch this boot up. Okay, it's saying that the uh, cannot talk the appropriate storage system was not found. I believe if you press the start and select buttons at the same time, it should start up. or when powering off. Let's try this again. Okay, turns out that the hard drive that I got from Amazon was not initialized. So I plugged it into my PC, then I initialized it using the disk management tool. So now it is asking me to go ahead and plug in using the USB controller. So I will go ahead and plug this in here. Connect this to the front. And then now that it's connected, I will press the PS button here. Awesome. Now I have restore PS3 system is what I want to do. It will format all the data. Yes. And let's go ahead and restore the default system. System cannot run correctly. Press the PS button to start. I think that now I have to press the start and select buttons and it should run the PS update file that is on the USB drive now. I may not have actually had to do the reset, but hey, why not? I'll have a fresh system. Okay, it is now going ahead and doing the update. I do not want to touch anything while it's doing this update because it is installing the operating system onto the PlayStation from the USB drive. And here is the original drive while that is updating. This is a 80 gig Toshiba drive. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in with my other hard drives. I have like an Xbox hard drive and a few other hard drives with my other game systems I just keep for archival purposes. I can go ahead and unplug here and just use the wireless. Let's go ahead and accept the disclaimer. Okay, system's back up and running. Let's go ahead and connect the cable here. And press the PS button and go through the setup. I think this was a result because I did the reset, which is fine. I bought this unit secondhand, so I don't need any of the previous login account from the uh, person who owned it before me. Can you see this screen? I can see the screen, yes. 
and let's go ahead and set my location. We'll go ahead and set the date. Although I will connect online and get the correct date for this after it connects, but might as well have this somewhat close in case there's any authentication issues here. Let's edit my user. Oh, that's lovely. It's a T9. We'll go ahead and skip online services for now. Yes, we will set online services here in a little bit. Just want to see it come up to the home screen. Evil Nat, okay, I'm loading the custom jailbroken firmware and it looks like it is loaded, which is good. Awesome. The last thing I want to check here then is I have package manager, which is good. So now I can install package file, standard, and we will install multi-man here. Installs pretty quickly onto the hard drive. Good to see. This will give me all the network capabilities so I can FTP the files over. So install complete, awesome. And there is multi-man. I'll go ahead and start that up for the first time. And then let me grab a network connection. With multi-man installed, first I will disable the theme audio in the settings. Next I will confirm FTP is enabled, which it is. Now I need my IP address. Also look at that free hard drive space at 847 gigabytes. That will be plenty of room for me to install all of my games. I have opened up FileZilla and entered the IP address of my PS3. After connecting, open HDD0 and the games folder. This is where the games will go. I will start with 3D.Heroes. This software is exclusive to the PS3 and is a Zelda-like action role-playing game published in 2009 in Japan and in 2010 for Europe and North America. Well, it took a while but I have uploaded a bunch of games, including a PS2 game and several PlayStation 1 games. Switching over to the HDMI capture for the PlayStation 3, Multiman has already discovered the games and loaded the cover art. It really is that simple. I want to check the disk space. There is now 772 gigabytes free, so I have really loaded about 80 gigabytes of software, more than the original hard drive would even hold, and I still have 10 times that space left. I have been on a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kick lately. I really like Shredder's Revenge, and I'm excited for the Cowabunga Collection, which releases at the end of the month by Konami. Danger of the Ooze is published by Activision, so it won't be on that collection. It released in 2014 on the PS3, and is a 2.5D platformer. However, it was only given a 5 out of 10 by IGN. It's kind of my thing. Okay, so... Um, aha! That's perfect! Enjoy the game, turtle head! The animation is based on Nickelodeon's reboot of the animated series. Although it's a Turtles game, it doesn't really resemble the Turtles in the earlier games, cartoons, and comic books. Snap! I almost forgot about training with Master Splinter! Uh, I can't be late again. I gotta get back to the lair. Instead, it bridges the gap between Season 2 and Season 3 for fans of the more recent Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated program. Wow. 
The combat is pretty simple with the main moves tied to hitting the square button four times in combination of moving the joystick. I imagine more complicated moves will be available as I advance during the gameplay. This game takes about five to six hours to beat if you play with each turtle. Although the game can be beaten in under an hour, which will actually earn you a trophy. I won't complete the game today, however I will bring this video to a closing. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content I am creating, please subscribe and I will continue to make more like this. Have a great day.